realization of a four variable logic expression using 8 is to 1 multiplexer IC. Now let us assume that the given expression is that, that means the main terms are given, a given expression a, a, B, C, D and the, these are the variables and the main terms are given as you see. Now we are going to design uh, this because the main term M0 is present, therefore here it is Z, A equal to 0, B equal to 0, C equal to 0 and D equal to 0, we are putting 1. And 1 is also present, therefore A equal to 0, B equal to 0, C is equal to and D equal to 1, we are putting 1. Therefore, whatever the main terms are present, therefore we are, output will be 1, therefore we are uh, putting 1 in the block. And therefore you can see here, this is, this is a 2 and remaining 3, 0, 3 is not there, 4 is not there, 5 is not there, 6 is not there, 7 is there. That means 7 is 0, 1, 1, 1. That is indicating 7, M7. Therefore, uh, and 8 is there, 9 is there, 10 is not there, 11 is not there, 12 is not there, 13 is not there, 14 is there, 15 is there. Therefore, we have, we, we have uh, substituted the wherever the mean terms are present, we have substituted 1 and therefore, Therefore, we got the, because we are entered variable, therefore, wherever the D are the same, therefore, output will be 1. And where the D are the, uh, you can see that in the second, uh, in this, in this, these columns, you can see the, uh, the whatever the value of D out, output is complement, whatever the value of D output is complement, therefore, Y, it, this is the, this is the row, which is the entered variable, uh, entered variable table, you can say. Therefore, it is a D bar. And here 0, here D because it is the same as same as D, output is the same as D. Therefore, here 0, here also 0, 1, 1, therefore it is D. And this is non-independent of D, therefore it is both are 1, both are 0, therefore 0. And in this way, we have prepared the table y, y equal to, these are the values y equal to. This is the, uh, according to the entered variable map, we got this, uh, got, we have substituted. Therefore, D will be, D and D bar will be appeared from the input side. And therefore, we'll substitute the value for D0 to D7, the corresponding value we are substituting. And accordingly, we have drawn the circuit diagram. We have drawn the circuit diagram. And then, after drawing the circuit diagram, we, we have to do in the lab, we have to draw, we have to do. And we'll vary that A, B, C, D will vary. And we should get uh, the output uh, high for which main terms are present. And that for to that, we have to go to the lab for connections and and see the output and let us go to the lab now we are we are realizing a four variable logical expression with 8 is to 1 multiplexer and the designing of that has been already been done and then we are coming to the connections now you have you, you have the multiplexer ic you have the multi multiplexer ic that is 74151 and you, this is a 16-pin IC. You can see the notch up, upside and just you open it, place it here and close it. It is a 16-pin IC, therefore all the numbers will remain the same. And in this designing, we require another IC, that is the, that is the NOT gate IC, that is a 7404. And therefore you also put it here. Now, before I am coming to the designing, I am coming to the first. You come to the where the VCC, VCC and grounding. You have to you have to connect the VCC and ground. You connect connect the VCC and ground. Then uh, first you come to the the VCC. You can look at the pin diagram for it. Uh, you can look at the pin diagram for seven 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 four one five one. You can look at that, and then you can see the grounding is eight and 16 is the VCC. Therefore, I am connecting 16 to VCC and, and 8, to, 8 to ground. This is for your multiplexer, 8 is to 1 multiplexer IC. 8, 8, is, to one, 8 is to 1 multiplexer IC. This is the 8. You can multi. Now, now you come to this uh, NOT gate. That means uh, 7404. This is the VCC is 14. Here, one thing you can see, that this part 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and the last two are not connected. Therefore, the last two has to be 
and discard it. Therefore, the pin will be, therefore, all these 10, it will become 8, and this way. This is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. In this way, the pin numbers are. Now, you're coming to the 14 is connected to VCC. Then you come to the 7 is, 7 is you can look at that, you can look at that pin, the like pin diagram. Here is also 7, 4, 1. You can, you can see that. Uh, you can ground is 7 and 14 is VCC. Therefore, and here, uh, 7 is connected to the ground. And that is all, uh, these two IC, ground and VCC has been connected. After that, after that, you can see that in the pin diagram of 74151, uh, which is a 8 is to 1 multiplexer IC, you can see that S2, S1, and S0. That is representing the silex. The S2 is the most significant bit. And uh, sometimes it will be in our theory, we represent it A, B, C. This is the A, B, C. S2 is the A, and S1 is the B, and S0 is the C. Therefore, most significant bit is 9. Therefore, wherever 9 is there, 9 is, is there, you connect to the input side. Just connect to the input side. Then <coughs> you, can, you come to the 10. 10 is the B, that is here it is S1. Therefore, connect another. And then you connect 11. 11 you connect. You connect this is the C. Now you make it make it D. D the, because in the enter variable we have to we have to eliminate one variable. We have eliminated D, and therefore only the three variable in the 8 is to 1 IC. Therefore we make it D, and D has to be input to the NOT gate. And you look at the NOT gate IC, NOT gate pin diagram. You look at that NOT gate pin. There are there are six NOT gates are there. We we have to use only one NOT gate in this experiment. Therefore, you can take one as a input and output as a two. Therefore, if D whatever I have taken a D, I'm I'm putting into the one and the two will be the D complement of D. Now this is this is an and coming to the another thing you can come again you come to this you can look at that that five five is the output. Therefore, five. I'm coming. I'm, I'm connecting to the output side. You can look at that output side. Then you come to the designing. Here, here another thing you can look at that this E bar enabled. That means this multiplexer can be enabled or disabled. Therefore, if it is seven, pin number seven is zero, then it is enabled. If it is high, then the complete multiplexer is disabled. And because it is zero makes it enable, therefore seven is not required to be connected. Uh, this is the things I have to mention here. Now you come to the according to the design you have to connect. Therefore, while you are connecting, you can keep the your you, you can keep your pin diagram nearby. And you can see here after the designing, D naught should be connected to D naught should be connected to one. That means one means VCC. D naught why why is the D naught here? D naught D naught you can find D naught pin number pin number of a D naught is four. Therefore, 4 is connected to 1. And another is D4 is also connected to 1. And D7, these three are connect is are after the design we got 1. Therefore, D0, D4, and D7. These three has to be connected to VCC. Therefore, first you come to the D0. You can look at the pin diagram. D0, pin diagram of, <coughs> you can come to the pin diagram of D0. You can see that it is 4. Therefore, 4, I am keeping it here in my hand. And another is that you can see that one is D4 and pin number you can you can see pin number for D D4 is <coughs> D4 is 15. Therefore, you can you can 15. And another is another is D7. D7 is D D7 is 12. Therefore, you can you can connect to that 12. Therefore, again I again I repeat here uh, that four pin pin four. Is representing uh, uh, is representing D naught and and pin and the pin 15 is is representing D4 as per the design and and pin 12 is representing D7. These three, according to the design, these three has to be connect is one. Therefore, I am connecting to the VCC. Here you can look at these three. I connected together and I am connecting to the VCC. After that, you can see that remaining, remaining is see that you can zero, you come to the D2, D2, D5, and D6. Now D2, you can see that uh, pin is two. I'm connected to the pin, from the pin diagram, 
from the pin diagram you can see the pin number 2 is D2. Therefore, D2 is in the designing, D2 is equal to 0. Therefore, I am connecting to pin number 2. And, and from uh, another thing is 0, D5. D5 and uh, you can see is a 14. I am another, another wire I am taking to 14. Taking to 14, D5. This is a D5. And another is there, uh, is D6. D, D6 is 13. Another wire I am connecting to 13. Therefore, these three, all three together has to be connected to, has to be connected to ground. Therefore, I am connecting to the ground. Ground is there, 0 is written. Ground, I am connecting to ground. Then you come to that, remaining, remaining are, what are the remaining are? One is a D1. D1 is a D bar. D bar and the pin number for D1, uh, D1 is 3. You can look at the pin diagram. The D1 is 3. And therefore, I am connecting to the 3 connecting to 3 and it will be it should be connected to it should be according to the design it is it's a d bar therefore it should be connected to that 2 that means not gate the output of the not gate 2 therefore i am connecting there and then and and then last uh, you can you can see the d3 d3 is the you can see d3 is only the last one it is d therefore d3 you can see it is 1 it is 1 it is 1 Therefore, it, it, it is to be, uh, it is, you can see, look at that, designing, D, D3 is equal to D. Therefore, you can connect here only. You can connect in the D. This is all about the connections. This is all about the connections. Now, I'll show you the, how to check the output. Now, you can see, if, you, can, you can look at that expression. You can look at the Boolean expression. Boolean expression is a, M0 plus M1 plus M2, these are the mean terms. These are the mean, mean terms present in the Boolean expressions. Then because, because the mean term 0 is present, 0 means A equal to 0, B equal to 0, C equal to 0, D equal to 0. For that, we should get the output equal to 1. Therefore, we are getting, because all are 0, therefore output equal to 1. Now, A equal to 0, B equal to 0, C equal to 0, and D equal to 1, it it implies a mean term of 1, that means M1. For M1 is also present, therefore if I switch on, output should remain as 1. And therefore you can see the mean term, mean term 2 is also present, therefore two, mean term 2 implies A equal to 0, B equal to 0, C equal to 1, and D equal to 0. Therefore if you switch on, it should, should remain as 1. Now mean term 3, that M3 is not present, therefore as A equal to 0, B equal to 0, C, C equal to 1, and D equal to 1, it, the output will be 0. Therefore, yeah, as we switch on, the output should be switched off. Output should be switched off. Now, it is ex exactly what the, what we should get the output. We are getting, still now we are getting, now I am coming to the 4. That means 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0, 0. Therefore, 0, 1, 0, 0. It is also not present. It should be, it should be off. Then 5, 0, 1, 0, 1. It is 5, M5. That is, it is not there. It should be remain off. Then coming 0, 1, 1, 0. It should be, it should be remain low because this mean term is not present in this expression. It, it is, it should be remain low. Now, 0, 1, 1, 1. It is mean term 7. And you can look at that mean term 7 is present. It should, uh, output, sh output should become high it is it is becoming high in this way you change you change this input up to 1111 that means 15 up to m15 okay very and you should get the output high only for this mean terms what is the present you should get the output high and that all about your uh, multiplexer uh, realizing the boolean expression of a four variables in a multiplexer of 8 is to 1 multiplexer